Hi, today I'm going to talk about what is recreational cannabis? Hello everyone, my name is Randy Kane and I'm the Humble Grower. Cannabis is now legal in Canada and I'm here to show you what I know about this amazing plant. Recreational cannabis. That's a term that has irritated me from the very beginning. Whenever I think about recreational cannabis, I'm thinking it's out skiing, I'm thinking it's a big joint on a snowboard. That's what recreational cannabis must be. Uh, I use socially, I use with friends. That to me, I guess you could say I'm recreating on some level, but my sense is, is the term recreational was is to, it was part of the world of propaganda again, it was to diminish it. It was to reduce it to the point which was is, well, you know, I mean, if it's just recreational, why do you have to do it? And so now you're on the hook of, oh, geez, why do I have to do it? And I should explain to them, and God, I guess I could give it up. And so it opens up this whole fishbowl of bullshit is really what it comes down to. Reality is, is that, you know, sort of the personal or the social use of cannabis is quite varied. Uh, you can have friends over, you know, sitting around watching a movie, enjoying a dinner, maybe out for a walk and looking at a sunset. Those would be the things that I would think would be more incorporated within people's experiences. Generally, though, what I can say is it's done in a social setting. Not that, you know, I don't sit at home and smoke a joint at the end of the day and kind of reflect, but like many things, you know, you're out with your friends and maybe out camping or enjoying it, and you can kind of share in those things, whether, like I say, it's, whether it's a glass of wine, whether it's a nice dinner, whether it's to go have a cup of coffee with your friends. It's really, I think, the, the greatest aspect of most of us of why and what causes us to continue to use. It's social. It brings us together with others. It brings us together with our friends. It brings us together with our families. At least that's my hope moving forward is it will do that. But it's also, if you want to look at the difference between, let's say, I would call this non-medicinal as opposed to medicinal. Medicinal is very, very specific, as many of you might understand, in terms of being very conscious about the strain that you select because it can be very specific for a certain condition, dealing with pain or anxiety. For us, who maybe aren't using it medicinally, we select it because we kind of like that feeling. But it's, but it's not as specific. You could actually smoke something else and are going to enjoy that too. Somebody who's a medicinal user, if they smoke a different variety, it may not deal with the pain or the nausea or the distress that they're feeling. So it's much, much more specific. I know we've all felt disappointed, you know, we can't get our favorite bud, but did it bring did it bring the night to a close and you just said, well, that's it, we're all going home, to hell with it? I couldn't, no, of course not. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing more difficult than watching a medical user hasn't gotten their appropriate strain and they're not getting the satisfaction from it like we would using recreationally. That I think is the greatest separation. Thanks for listening. See you again. I hope you found this useful. I would also recommend that you watch the documentary Demystifying Cannabis on Canada's legalization. You can access that by clicking on the link below.